What up everybody, welcome back to attempting to create the lowest float covert from a collection in the entire game. Now this video, it's pretty wild and you need some very, very low float skins that are already exceptionally rare and expensive. But as you can see, I've been collecting them. Currently, the number one lowest float from a collection skin is this guy right here that I've conveniently named number one collection cover. This has five <laughs> zeros and an eight seven. I crafted this one a while back. I believe it was when I was trying to create the number one dragon lord the last time. This is what came out of it. And quite frankly, I'm not mad about it. I really like this skin. And the reason why I'm saying number one Lowest float covert collection skin is because number one covert skin, that's not possible. Technically, this Karambit vanilla that was bugged and gifted to HFB by support should not exist. And obviously this is unbeatable. It won't be the number one lowest gun skin either because guns from case collections have been unboxed that are pretty much unbeatable as well. However, if we're talking map collections, which are obviously some of the most rare and expensive collections in the entire game, then I'm the proud owner of the current number one from any kind of map collection, the Eye of Horus. But today, we're gonna try and beat it by creating one of these guys. Not only would it be the number one from a map collection cover in the entire game, it would also be the number one M4A1S fade. Now we've already had a couple of videos attempting this guy. It hasn't gone too well, but that's not put me off. So I've been collecting ridiculously low floats. And as you can see, we got a bunch of rank twos, rank threes, rank number ones skins that will be deleted from the game forever. Look at these rank number ones. They're all about to get nom nom nommed by Gabe. One of the marketplaces I sourced all of these crazy low float skins from was today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport are a skins marketplace much like the Steam market, however, way, way cheaper. They currently have over two million skins on the site, including skins from all of these new collections I'm about to trade up for. Not only can you buy skins on Skinport, you can also sell your own skins on Skinport for real life money. Cash outs are sent in your local currency with a whole bunch of countries supporting. Not only that, they also have a score of 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot for a reason. Legendary Marketplace, thank you so much for sponsoring the video. If you want to check them out, check out the top pinned comment down below. Click on that will let Skinport know that I sent you. Let's get into some of these juicy trade ups. For my first contract. <laughs> We are going to be doing... This is insanity. This is absolute insanity. There isn't a skin in here that does not have four zeros. And there are multiple skins in here with five zeros. Putting all of these basically top five skins, we even got some number ones in here, will give us these odds. Whatever comes out of this stupidly expensive contract, it will be a guaranteed new world number one float. That on its own is pretty exciting for me. However, have we had a look at these odds? It is 50% to get either a cold blooded or a USPS serum. Those are probably the worst case outcomes, I think. The serum, 100% that's the worst case outcome. We don't want to see that guy. It will be the number one serum in the entire world with five zeros, but that's irrelevant. I think one of the best things we could hit would probably be the Orb Krakow. I'm not sure I'd trade that one up if I got it, because at that float, it's going to be unbeatable. But then we also have the Starcade and the Little Pig, and these in ridiculously low float. They actually might be the most expensive. We could also hit the Sport and Field collection at 10% each here, and these would definitely be great trade-up material for our attempt at the lowest covert from a map collection in the entire game. My plan is we do this absolutely insane contract first and then we try and create some other 
low flow skins. We will have a few attempts at that to chuck in to the final trade up. We have to double check, we have to triple check, and make sure we got all of these floats correct. It's looking good so far. Ridiculous contract to start things off with. This is silly. Guaranteed new world number one. I'm pretty nervous about this one. I am. I paid a lot of money for these skins and if a cold blooded or a serum comes out, which is a coin flip away, that could prove very foolish. Time will tell. We have some fantastic possible outcomes. I can't resist but to do the console opening on this one. So, Let's get it. Three, two, one. Kaboom. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, my console was not the right size and that is just, that is just the outcome we really, really didn't want. What a disappointment to start things off with. It looks nice in my inventories. That's the new world number one, but that could have been so much nicer. Once again, using exceptionally low floats with four zeros, most of them, and lower odds to get something from the arms deal two this time, only a 30%. Let's go. Three, two, one. Something good. Bruh. How are you giving me the arms deal two serum? Like, that is so bad. We've got crazy unlucky so far, I'm not gonna lie. Here's another 50-50. So I'm hoping we finally hit one. Shall we count it down? Three, two, one. Graphic design collection would be the sickest. Lego. Oh, nice. Oh, cracker. I don't think that will be the number one float. I've already made and owned the number one float. But this one, yeah, I think it should be nice to throw into a contract. It is the number three off crack out. Unfortunately, not low enough float for us to throw into the final trade up. Still a nice skin, nonetheless. For us to throw whatever comes out of the contract into a trade up at the end, we need it to hit the sport and field collection because that's the only collection where classifieds from that collection create a way lower float if hit when trading up. The other two new collections, Overpass 2024 and Graphic Design Collection, they don't work in the same way. So although those outcomes are nice, for our final contract, we'd be hoping to see the sport and Oh no, not again. That was a 60-40 this time and we still hit the arm steel too. Stop, Gabe, and stop giving me the 50-50. Let's go. I really hope we don't get this unlucky on the final contract, but our odds are not looking great so far. We're not hitting the skins we need. Show us the sporting field. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to think this might actually be rigged. Mr. Gaiman, come on. Sport and field or anything that isn't the arms deal too. <laughs> Sport and field. Our final shot, a new collection. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. I wasn't expecting the gold gem AK-47 case hardened in Factory New and probably in you know, pretty low flow. Okay, surprise. Man, look at these outcomes. Cold-blooded, serum, cold-blooded, cold-blooded, serum, cold-blooded, serum. I haven't been this unlucky in a video in a very long time. It seems we also managed to create the number one flow serum. So that's an interesting revelation, but don't worry because not all hope is lost. I prepared for the possibility that Gaben would completely screw me just as he has. And we are left with this contract. You may have noticed I'm gonna put in an AK-47 hydroponic number two flow in the entire world. I created this guy a while ago. I had some crazy offers for it as well, monetary wise, but I've been saving it to chuck into a trade-off. And this feels right. This feels like the right trade-off. So we have a 60% at the blood in water. Terrible times if we hit that. Would be typical of today though. I wouldn't be too surprised. We have a 20% at the number one M4A1S fade, but not only that, number one covert from a map collection. 
in the entire game at five zeros and a six. We also have a 10% at the number two, Be The Monster. This would not be number one. It would be all right to hit. I think it comes in about third place, just above the blood of the water. And then we have actually the best skin to hit in here, the number one, Org Akibara. Except if we were to hit this for the 10%, <laughs> it would be an expensive skin, that's for sure. It would absolutely smash the current number one out of the water by an entire zero. Can we turn this day around from complete failure to ultimate glory? This is our final chance to do so. Can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm throwing the number two hydroponic into a trade up. It is absolute madness. 60 at the blood in the water. 20% new number one. Lowest float covert map collection skin ever. 10% number two. AK 47 beat the monster. 10% Org Akihabara except number one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure this is the reason you clicked the video right here. I'm gonna console open it. <laughs> I have to do it. This contract is terrifying. Genuinely. So many expensive low floats. It's time, it's time. 60-40. Gaben, we have failed so many contracts today. If we were to hit one, one singular contract, please let this be the contract we hit. Either all Gakimara accept or number one lowest float M4A1S fade. Both acceptable options. I'll take them, I'll be happy with them. If you're enjoying the video, please slap that like button. I really need you to send your love and support through the screen right now. Do this all for your entertainment, but it's still stupidly scary because of how much money and time I invest into this. It's a hell of a lot of both. Join with me counting this down. Three, two, one, four, Okay, okay, console. Console's the right size. Let's do this. This is scary. This is very, very scary. Okay. It's a cover. You know it's a cover. It's a price of price. A collection. A collection of so Please, not the old school arms deal with two badge. Please. Please, not that. Come on. We've seen it so much. No way! <laughs> That's the best possible outcome we could hope for. That is absolutely insane. I said it felt right. I said it felt right. I was like, is that the Rising Sun collection? I hadn't even seen the collection logo in so long. Oh my goodness. We actually just created that. This, this is better. This is better than the new world number one lowest float in 4 a one as fade. I can do that again. I can do that a hundred times and it's relatively easy to create. So this, this is insane. Woo! Gaben, thank you. I can't help but smile right now. I literally cannot wipe the smile off my face. 10% number one lowest float. Akihabara, except this this will never be beaten. I guarantee you, nobody is crazy enough. The Rising Sun items just do not exist to make this again. I got insanely lucky in the first place to even hit that hydroponic that we needed for this. And to create that hydroponic in the first place, I needed to get crazy lucky, crafting all the way up to it myself because these skins do not exist. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now, <laughs> we have the number one Akihabara except in the whole world. That is so, so good. I asked for a little price check from someone who knows a lot about it. And he said, this is an item I cannot value. And he's estimated it at about 50,000. I just, I just showed him it. I think he's about to lose his shit. That is 
crazy. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut instinct, right? If you feel something's right, then it's right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, slap that like button. It's highly, highly appreciated. If you have any other crazy suggestions for contracts you wanna see me do, leave them down below in the comment section. I'm gonna whack this guy into a storage unit so there's no spoilers on float. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, peace.